implemented. Just hours before the Super Bowl, it was President Trump making football headlines. In a sit-down interview, President Trump called football a, quote, dangerous sport. He also said he would not steer his son toward playing football. Allie Levine went to find out how the local football community feels about those presidential comments. Allie. Josh Latricia, football, especially at the high school level, is popular to say the least here in Tennessee. Across the country, it's actually the most popular boys sport. But in the U.S., in the nation, participation is actually down over the last decade. According to the National Federation of State High School Associations, compared to the year before, 20,000 fewer high schoolers played football last year. I mean, it's a dangerous sport, and I think it's you know, I, I, it's really tough. But that toughness led Kurt Jones. Football to me is everything. And Bobby Dunn. It's all good. It's all good. Football's good. To where they are today. I've been coaching football since 1995. Well, I think it's pretty good the, the, what we've got going now. Dunn helped found the Scenic City Youth Football League. I'm president. Jones is the head football coach for Central High School. I'm a football guy. On this field, Jones and Dunn try to create more football guys. Part of my job is not just to come out here and try to win football games. It's my job to develop young men into husbands and leaders and, you know, being relevant in the community. Neither man is worried about the president's comments impacting their ability to do just that. He's a very powerful man and, uh, you know, his words mean a lot and I think that's going to cause people to actually do some more research. I don't see any changes in youth sports and youth football. I don't see the changes. Both Coach Jones and Dunn say that advanced equipment and technology is helping to keep players safe while they're out on the field. They also say that they're emphasizing heads up playing techniques on or in the game rather. And they do say that the game of football teaches players just as much about life off the field as it does on the field. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Allie Levine, News Channel 9. Allie, thank you. A new wave of lawsuits accuses college athletic leaders of failing to protect athletes from later in life brain injuries. Dozens of lawsuits were filed last month. Several dozen more cases are expected to be added soon. The cases target big schools like West Virginia, Cornell and Virginia. All of the suits claim the NCAA and colleges knew about the debilitating long term dangers of head trauma in the sport. They say the organization disregarded that information to protect the sports profitability. The NCAA has 